In this video, I'm going to go for a question that's popular in the JP Morgan um, interview question for the quant, quant roles. Uh, it's called the Romeo and Juliet meeting. Um, it's quite a popular question in terms of probability. And it goes like so. Romeo and Juliet agree to meet between 8am and 9am. Each arrives at a random time in the hour and then they wait 15 minutes. What are the probability that they meet? So assuming that if they um, if it goes past the 15 minutes and then they're just going to walk off and they're not going to meet. Therefore, the probability of that is zero. Okay, so let's think about this. So if if Romeo arrives at, let's say, 8.50, clearly it's, it's going to be past 9. So this is not going to count. So it needs to go before. And alternatively, if Romeo gets there at 8.10, obviously um, 15 minutes prior will be 8.55. So it will be before the um, 8 a.m. So we can essentially only think about this as, um, well, the, 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 the each person can only wait 50 minutes before or after. And so this is just going to be x minus y. Uh, modulus is less than, because of the probability, um, 15 over 60, which becomes a quarter. OK, so now all, all we need to do is think about the probability of this being true, or the probability of this, sorry. Now, x and y are going to be assumed to be um, uniformly distributed between 0 and 1. Now, you might think um, we have to integrate here, but we're actually going to use the unit square. Now, the unit square is really good for these sort of, these sort of questions, or for probability, because they eliminate the, they eliminate need, the, um, the need for integration. So let's call this y and this x. Now, we need to think of all the combinations we can get from x, y, less than a quarter. So uh, the first one is obviously just y, sorry, just x minus y is less than a quarter. So y, uh, y, y is less than x plus a quarter. And then obviously the other is true. So we have um, y minus x is less than a quarter. And so uh, y is greater than X, uh, x minus a quarter and so plotting these out if we if we turn these equalities into equals we can get uh, we're going to have a plot such as this uh, about there and we're going to do actually we're going to do some red so this is going to be our line of um, y equal to x plus one quarter now if you're not familiar with the the unit square and how to use it I would rec I'll, I'll link a video below, but it's really, really useful for questions such as this. So this is y again equals x. Uh, this will be my, sorry. This will be x minus a quarter. And so now the probability we're looking at is just here. This is the probability that they meet. Now the question seems to be a bit more easier now. Just we only need to work out the area of this, this, um, this region here. So we're gonna do that this little arrow, if you like, is just equal to 1 minus these sections here. So we've got this little square here, the triangle, sorry, and this little triangle here. Sorry, this little triangle here. Now we know that this is going to be a quarter, so this is evidently going to be 3 quarters. 3 quarters here, 3 quarters here, 3 quarters here, and 3 quarters here. So this is simply going to be 1 minus three quarters squared, which equals to one minus uh, nine over 16. And so the total area of that is uh, seven over 16. And that is the probability that they move in the 15 minutes given.